Welcome to Discourse. <laughs> So we started reading Batman comics because director Matt Reeves is coming out with a new Batman movie called mm -hmm. The Batman, starring uh, Robert Pattinson, and mm -hmm. we wanted to dive into the comics that inspired Matt Reeves uh, and his perception of the new Batman mm -hmm. he's creating for us. One of those books that he said it inspired him or really affected him was Batman Ego, and in Batman Ego, we get Bruce Wayne talking mm -hmm. to Batman. They, they split and they are talking to one another about who they are and why they do what they do. We get to dive into like his subconscious and his understanding mm -hmm. of himself. And there's not a lot of action in this comic. It's more about mm -hmm. introspection. Yeah, but it was still pretty dark. <laughs> it is pretty dark. dark. The Batman yeah. or Batman in this one is really like maniacal. Like he comes out like just super angry and like yeah. kind of like bloodthirsty like he's ready to kill people but i like this one because the writer darwin cook he explored the idea of batman having a split personality right batman mm -hmm. and bruce wayne being two separate beings which when you think about it is true yeah he, right? he he puts on a costume and he goes out at night and he is batman right when mm -hmm. he takes off the costume he is bruce wayne uh, in this one, we get to finally explore them separately, and what I really like talking. is that they talk to each other. <laughs> talking to each other. So yes. the, we, the way we get to this moment in time is at the very beginning, Batman um, sees a guy that, well, they just came out of the previous comic called The Long Halloween, and then one of the guys had escaped, and in this one, we're picking up where that story left off, and Batman sees him, and he, the guy is trying to kill himself. Batman saves him really quick. But then the guy's like, you ruined my life, and <laughs> now all of these criminals are coming after me, They're and because you, because you ruined my life, I had to kill my kids and my Whoa. wife, and now I'm going to kill myself. Yeah. And But before that, yeah, he said that the <laughs> Something criminals... happens before that? <laughs> yes, it was sick. This is like a couple of pages, and so much tragedy <laughs> happens sick. in these short pages. Yeah, so Batman's chasing him. He goes on top of the bridge. Batman's, oh, man, maybe that's where he hit his stash. That's where he's going to get his money. Yeah. No. He figures out he's trying to jump and kill himself. <laughs> and when he mentions his wife and kids, he said that the criminals that knew or the Joker found out that he's the one that sold them out. Mm -hmm. And they were going to go after his kids and you know, pretty much his family. He said, no, I can't let him do that. So I killed him myself. And then he said, because of you, now I'm going to kill myself as well. How and he sick proceeds, is that? Like, he proceeds to blow his brains out. You're not going to kill my family. It I is am. Like, very what? dark right from like, the beginning. <laughs> and I'm just like, holy cow, we're in for an emotional yeah. ride in this one. Batman is rightfully depressed and he kind of has like this psychotic break, <laughs> right? He goes to the Batcave. He kills himself and, in front of him. Like, yeah, all what? of a sudden he starts talking to his alter ego. <clears throat> And they, then you know, yeah. like, Batman has just lost it. Yeah, because like, he, start, he starts regretting his decisions. His life choices. He's like, how but, did I get here? Yeah, questioning being the Batman. And he wants to quit, right? He wants to hang yeah. it up. And yeah. then that's when Batman's, uh, or that's when the Batman comes out because Bruce Wayne wants to hang up the Batman. And Batman's like, that's not happening. <laughs> and he becomes, yeah. and then Batman kind of becomes like the ghost of Christmas past. <laughs> because he takes yeah. Bruce Wayne to his, like, a Christmas in the past where yes. um, his parents are giving each other gifts and it's all very happy. And He got a Zorro gift. He got Zorro. <laughs> There's another... Can you call Zorro, like, a superhero? I yeah, think so, he right? Crying, yeah. He's a Mexican superhero. Why not? Um, <laughs> Spaniard. A, oh, sorry. Spanish. He's a Spanish superhero. <laughs> but it, it's, it's odd because... It was so dark in the beginning, and then it gets kind of maniacal when Batman comes out, and then we get this like kind of sweet uh, story about his family mm -hmm. in the middle, and then we go back to Batman talking to him, or Batman and Bruce Wayne talking to each other again. Mm -hmm. It was a weird moment in the comic that is overly dark. It's like kind of out of nowhere and out of place. Um, yeah. I think at this point, a lot of people know what Batman is, so we didn't really need that moment, other than just giving us more backstory about Batman in general. Mm -hmm. I would have been totally fine if we had just stayed with Batman and Bruce Wayne talking to each other for like 20 <laughs> pages. Yeah, yeah, and it's funny in the beginning too, because Bruce Wayne thinks he's losing it, going crazy, because yeah. Batman shows up on his computer screen, so he breaks it or he does something. He like hits escape or turns the power <laughs> off or yeah. something. Yeah, he disappears. He's like, all right, that was just a dream. It was all in my head. 
But then he comes out behind him like in a big old smoke screen or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, he, he comes in the <clears> real <throat> world where he thought he was just on the screen. Now he's in the real world. Yeah. It's insane. It made me question who is the real, like... Who's like, the who, real person, right? We call the real person? Bruce Wayne Batman to us before this comic has always been one person. Yes. And then after this comic, we now see them as two different people. Yeah, like when Bruce Wayne hangs up the cape and he's Bruce Wayne, is that his alter ego? Right? Oh, right. Like, who's the real one, right? Is Batman yeah. the real one? Made and me it's question being, that. Is, is Batman the primary one, and he's being tempered by Bruce Wayne, mm-hmm. or is Bruce Wayne the real one, and he's being darkened by Batman? Correct. Yeah, it made me question that, which was pretty interesting, because when I read the intro for the book, the author goes into why he decided to go with the alter ego or the split personality, and at first I was like, man, this is going to be whack. But, yeah, I thought so too. I was like, okay, great. We're going to sit here and watch two characters talk to one another, which is true. It happens, but it's so fascinating. Yeah, the way he did it was pretty dark, pretty intense. And goes to Christmas past, like you said, he goes back (laughs) into him with his parents actually having interactions and memories, not just getting shot by that one criminal and then Batman was created. I think what really made this Mm -hmm. good Or the idea of Batman talking to Bruce Wayne. Kind of like generic on its own. What really made it stand out was the artwork. Batman looks crazy and fantastic. (laughs) Bruce Wayne is still just Bruce Wayne. But the comparison of normal and dark (laughs) it plays really well in this comic. And that's what I loved seeing. Was that comparison throughout the entire thing and how crazy it all looked. So the artwork really made it stand out. They They make a mention in the very beginning how the Joker is caught and he's in prison now. And the bad guy's like, yeah, but you always know he's going to escape. And then later in the comic, Batman tells Bruce Wayne that. Like, you know Joker's going to escape, so just (laughs) let me kill him, right? Batman wants to kill Joker, and Bruce Wayne is the one that's stopping him. And at the same time, Batman's telling Bruce that if he doesn't let him work and keep being the Batman, that he's going to give him nightmares and relive those bad memories every single night for the rest of his life. And he kind of shamed him. I don't know. He was saying, like, Joker wouldn't be, these other criminals wouldn't be if it weren't for you. Yeah. Oh, man. There was a really good moment in there that echoes what happened in the Avengers, right? Mm -hmm. So in the Avengers, there was a moment where they're wondering why all of this bad stuff is happening. And then there's a mention that it's it's happening because it's a reaction to all of these other great superheroes, right? There's kind of a balance. Well, in this Mm -hmm. one that came out way before that, (laughs) there's also a mention that... Because Batman exists, now has to exist the opposite to balance it out. And Correct. that's why all of these crazy criminals exist. It's it's yes. a quick mention, but it's so fascinating that they only exist because Batman exists. Makes sense. Especially following the other comics that inspired the movie. Um, what was it? Batman Year One. In general, you know, Batman Year One is the rookie Batman. He's just fighting the local drug dealers, the you know, your everyday crook. Your everyday crook, and you don't really get to hear about the Joker or any other criminals, but they start coming about because of him. Yeah. Yeah, like you said, quick mention, but it plays a big part. A lot of food for thought. Yeah. So, this is actually a short comic. Um, you can read through it quickly. And that's why in this collection, there's Batman Ego and other yes. tales. It's like right? other short stories. Mm-hmm. So, there's other stories in there, uh, but the one that really stands out to me was Ooh. the selena kyle one what's that one yeah it's Catwoman, um selena's big score that's it yeah it, that one was more action oriented which is a good addition to this collection because batman ego again is just batman talking to bruce wayne it's very whereas dark. in the big score <laughs> there's a lot of action going on it's kind of like oceans 11 like a lot of action three main characters and a lot of side characters yeah selena um is getting back from a botched robbery in the middle east and she needs to have a big score to get her back on even and mm-hmm. she goes to some dude to find a job and the dude's like yeah i got a job for you <laughs> and then she has to collect some other like people from her past i think yeah, like to help ocean's her pull 11. off this heist it's yeah. basically like a train heist yeah it's a train heist and like ocean's 11 yeah. she's collecting members you know the master planner the master thief the pyrotechnics, whatever. Yeah. They got to collect weapons that are untraceable. And, and they come up with a cool yeah. plan. I like the plan. I thought the plan <clears throat> to mm-hmm. rob the train was going to be lame. And I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> I, maybe because it's just like an old comic. 
And I'm just like, oh, they're going to come up with some, like, generic old, like, mm-hmm. scheme. But no, they came out with a... I'm not going to ruin it, I think. But they came out with a pretty decent plan to rob the planes. Yeah, and it's... I wanted to see them pull it off. Although, of course, there's a twist... <laughs> And things don't go as they planned. Then, yeah. So, I, again, I don't want to ruin yeah. it. It's, it's good. The ending is good. The ending I did not expect. So let us yeah. know in the comments what your favorite Selena Kyle comic mm-hmm. book is. Let us know in the comments what you think about Batman Ego as well. And how yeah. uh, well you thought it played with Batman talking to Bruce Wayne. All the tank ready.